Hello, everyone. Blessings. Purification. Alignment. To everyone. I'm here today to talk about Grandmother Ayahuasca. She has been asking me to talk about her blessings and the journey with her. And I'm here to talk about the journey with my circle, the intentions of uh, why I am going through this uh, creation and manifesting with everyone. I have been receiving lots of questions, people want to know more. And I would like to know about uh, the preparation, you know, what I offer um, to help people to navigate through that journey. And especially with those that are feeling the calling, uh, this message is for you. Um, the reason I'm doing this video, it is very much because I'm just gonna put the music a little bit lower. Yes. So the reason that I'm doing this video, uh, is because in my ceremony i offer a preparation healing session before the ceremony my guidance during the ceremony and a post healing session after the ceremony so why am i doing this way So when I started to feel in the calling from grandmother to share the medicine with others, so many people are coming to me saying that, ah, be careful, the medicine, there is lots of people that die with the medicine. So many people commit suicide after ayahuasca. So many things, so, many, so much negative things happen you know and uh putting lots of negativity in about the medicine and uh, when i had my journey you know uh with ayahuasca i very much realized it that this is a huge misunderstanding that very much the medicine is very sacred and uh we needed to go through the journey with respect and very much, you know, committed to the journey, not just with the medicine, but committed with ourselves. So when I post about the ceremony, you know, in my page, my Facebook page, I receive lots of messages. Oh, I wanna, I wanna participate. I'm in, I'm in, I'm feeling the calling. But then when we, I, I wanna book the preparation session or give you continue, continue um, give you continue, uh, how can I say English? Um, very much book it and getting things prepared for this ceremony people start to feel fear about their commitment 
and uh, to me as a facilitator you know as someone that are creating the circle I don't feel right with myself I don't feel that this is right with Grandmother Ayahuasca and I don't feel that it's right even with those that um, are saying that they want to participate it, but they don't take the transformation, they don't take the ceremony, they don't take the journey seriously. And that's one thing that I want to talk about it. Um, so the reason that I book the preparation session, it is very much a moment where we can bring the, like the questions, we can bring clarity to the questions. We very much feel the connection with each other. Why? Because in the ceremony, I will be channeling the medicine. I will be getting into each one energy field. And I will be connected with each one. The same way that I commit myself with the circle, with the ceremony, with the preparation. And very much holding space and energy for myself and for each one in the circle. I appreciate you know, those that very much are coming to me, sending me a message or an email, very much saying, yes, I am committed with the ceremony to go and very much um, make the transformation, make the change and be committed first with yourself. And the once everyone make the decision and send me the message or the email, that's the beginning of the healing. That's the beginning of transformation. Very much having respect for your decisions, taking your journey seriously, because this is about you. It's not just about me. I go through the journey, I take the medicine, I do my own healing every time, and I feel each one in the circle. I work whole night, who have been already into the ayahuasca knows that. It is a huge journey and it is a huge night of blessings and healing, healing ourselves helping healing each other. We heal our family, our ancestors, our uh, blood lineage. So it is a beautiful night of healing and transformation and commitment. But for us to be able to navigate through the journey, we have to have that commitment with ourselves, with myself, you know, respecting my work, respecting my commitment that I'm doing with each one, respecting the medicine, seeing the medicine as a sacred medicine. How much you want to change yourself? How much you are able to transform your journey? How much you want that? How much you are feeling that calling? How much you are able to commit yourself and take your journey seriously with respect, with devotion, and doing that journey with an open heart, trusting the medicine, the power of healing of the medicine, going through the journey without expectations, but very much allowing the medicine you know, to show, to show you whatever needs to be healed, whatever needs to be purged, whatever needs to be transformed. How much do you want that? And how much you are respecting my commitment as well, my work, 
because in the preparation healing session it is important to come with an open heart and first it is important to be committed to come to the preparation healing session this is something that is part of the ceremony and if you want to come to my ceremony to my circle each one needs to come for a preparation healing session with me why because we'll be in the moment that we are gonna be connected energetically you're gonna feel my energy i'm gonna feel your energy we're gonna be in clarity and it is a preparation it is a session where where very much i am not there to prove that i am better to no one and i always say that for each one that comes to the circle everyone has beautiful gifts everyone are a beautiful healer and we are there to support each other we are not there to compete with each other because if we go through the journey with ego you're gonna have to face that ego first and if you come to my sessions or to the ceremony you know very much not seeing that from myself my energy will trigger you because i put my energy where when i am preparing the ayahuasca and i put my energy into the circle and i will get into your energy field very much to feel your journey and to receive the message and challenge and channelings from the grandmother and give you the message and everything that you needed in that moment that she asked me so will be a huge connection and the preparation healing session it is all about the beginning of that connection it doesn't matter if you already participate before because every moment it is a different moment and it is important for us to continue to be engaged in that connection we share experience we share healing all the time that i go to uh, not just a preparation healing session but uh, a regular uh, shamanic healing session you know to me it is a huge healing we remember each other who we really are we remember our gifts we remember how sacred we are and we remember why we came here to help each other that's my intention you know to making grandmada ayahuasca circle yes money is important yes i want to live and i want to support myself financially doing what i love to do it helping others and helping myself in the same way offering the blessings of mother nature to everyone everything that have been helping me to navigate through my journey i want to share to each one and give an opportunity to each one to be healed in the same way from my heart really it's from my heart however you know it has to be done without ego without that feeling of competition but very much seeing the sacredness you know from each other seeing the blessings from the medicine from the ceremony getting prepared for the ceremony yes we share diet you know it is important as i spoke in, in my first video you know have a a diet preparation before two weeks before so you're gonna purge less because the medicine very much release the toxin from the body 
and the more we get to prepare it with uh, high frequency food, you know, from vegetables, uh, fruits, we help our energy and we help our body, we help our immune system and everything it is for us, for the good, for the self-love and self-healing. That's the main point for, from this, for the ceremony, you know, self-love, self-healing, self-compassion. That's, it is the, the biggest teaching from grandmother. And everything that we face through the journey, it is about that. The medicine very much has the power to show us everything that is creating blockage our fears, our insecurities, everything that needs to be healed. And in the post-healing post session, it is important for us to navigate through the journey, to share. I will share my visions, my energy, my connection. And you're gonna share everything that happened with you so we are able to ground that experience into this reality and manifest and very much make the change. I guarantee that if you compare yourself before the journey and after, you are totally different. Me, all the time that I, I come from ayahuasca journey, I come totally different. There is always lots of teaching and lessons that I learned from grandmother from the universe. More and more I find that connection with myself. More and more I remove the fear, the insecurities. More and more I see the blessings, my inner power, the beauty of life, the magic, the connection, discovering who I am. And that's very much if you if you want to feel that, if is that what you are looking for, you know, to your journey, to your life experience, to be able to have clarity and realization about what is creating suffering and pain in your journey and very much remove that and free yourself. That's the commitment that we have to do it and grandmother you know she's she wants to to be respected she's sacred it's not her that kills people it's not the medicine that very much makes people to commit suicide but very much it is the own darkness and fears that people are not able to navigate through their own mind. However, when we bring clarity, we understand that everything is just a mind perspective, that there is no need for fear, that there is solutions for everything. And if we came here, we are able very much to navigate through our journey easy. Not just with pain and suffering, but having fun. That's very much what the universe wants from us. To enjoy, to laugh about our difficulties. Sometimes, you know, I, I laugh about myself. Sometimes I say something to people or even in my videos when I watch it after and I say, <laughs> holy shit, you know. But anyway, we have to enjoy our journey. We have to make fun or have fun, you know. You can laugh about my English. And if I really care about those things, you know, I can tell you that today... I wasn't be here talking because that was something very much that I, I, I had to face and I still have to face, you know, to be shy and talk. 
because it's very much hard to express you know it is so much in our journey to have clarity of communication now i'm trying to express myself in a second language you know i can tell you guys that it's not an easy job for myself but anyway it is part of my journey and if i don't see as uh enjoy you know as a funny way or very much navigate easy into my journey i'm not able to do anything from my heart because i put those um walls you know into my energy and i'm not gonna be able to flow into my journey because i'm putting fear fear to be judged fear about what others will think about myself but the grandmother is very much telling me it's time just to talk i want you to talk about myself i want the people know that i am here to help i'm here to help heal to help each one to know the inner power that we have the love, the unconditional love, the support that the universe has for us. And if we have to have a night of work, spiritual work, let's do that. How much you are committed to do a work to very much remove everything that is creating blockage and pain yourself? How much you want to free your mind? For us to be able to free our mind, we have to sit with our feelings and emotions without fear, because it's just here. How much we want that? And this is something that it is important. In the moment that you say yes, in the moment that you send a message to me, yes, I am confirming my presence into the ceremony. I will ask you as a favor, please be committed. Take yourself seriously. Take my work seriously. And if you are feeling fear, if you are not sure about it, that's totally fine. Give a time to yourself, you know. If you think that it's better to um wait or be more connected we can book a shamanic healing session you come from some sessions with me we can navigate through your life experience bring more clarity and when you feel very much you know uh, confident then you can very much commit yourself with your journey with grandmother ayahuasca but i ask you to to each one to have this awareness before come to me and confirm with me because there is a period where i send a message to everyone an email we have to book the preparation session and I cannot be sitting, waiting, you know, and being sending message one time, two time, three time, just to get your commitment with, you know, the journey, with grandmother and with myself. It's time for us to be mature. This is part of the journey. And if you... We are not able to do that in the beginning, before. There is no meaning for go to the journey, really. And as I said, money is important, yes. I wanna live from what I love to do, yes. But I wanna receive with love. I wanna receive, you know, without ego. I want to receive from your heart. Because if you, you come to me feeling that um, energy of ego as comparing, 
or very much feeling that I wanna uh, show that I am more than you. I don't need this type of money energy, you know? I'm not looking for that. And I'm sure that grandmother will uh, be calling those that very much wants to take the experience uh, from the heart, not from the ego, you know, oh, just to say to others, I did ayahuasca, you know, that's not the, my intention. And that is not grandmother's intention as well. I know there is many people that it's been working with ayahuasca. So if you don't feel connected with my energy, you know, it's totally fine. It's very blessed, you know, you can find another uh, facilitator, you know, someone that very much, you know, you feel connected. Because my point is not just money. My point is to have a commitment, respect. And that's the intention of the preparation healing session. So we're gonna have a confirmation from the universe. We're gonna start, you know, to have a connection with grandmother, open, opening our heart, receiving the message, being able to look at our journey and very much understand what can be re re healed during the ceremony. Being aware of things, being aware of your energy, my energy, as a soul family. And there is no way to go to the journey, to the ceremony, without do the preparation healing session. I will not gonna accept that. Even if you already have been participated, as I said, from the circle before. And it is important, you know, to have a commitment with myself as well and with yourself to do the pause healing session that the price is it is already included no so we are able to share there is no need for fear there is no need for having fear to be judged everyone has dark darkness you know shadows there is no light without darkness, you know. I have been healing myself very deeply, you know, seven years since when I started my awakening journey. And I had to remove lots of fear from my journey. Thanks to mushroom, ayahuasca, and uh, cannabis, and everything around, you know, nature. Everything that I have been, you know, are doing to help myself because it's not easy no one said that it is an easy journey but we are capable to do it when we commit ourselves all right so this is very much the message you know that i want to share today and if you have more questions you know or if you want to know more Please visit my Facebook page, Natural Lifestyle Organic Pharmacy. I have some other videos in my YouTube um, and in my page, you know, where I share videos explaining about the benefits, about ayahuasca, what the medicine do in our body. Very much sharing, you know, uh, other information about my private shamanic healing sessions as well so please you know uh, visit my page and then if you still have more questions be open you know you can ask me you can send me a message or an email there is no problem I am totally open but be committed with yourself first Respect yourself. Respect grandmother. Re respect the sacred medicine. And respect myself. 
it is a journey of first we, we learn how to respect you know each other in the circle allowing each one very much to navigate through their own journey so it's beautiful but very much we have to be you know mature we need to take responsibility you know if you wanna go to that because it is about you it is about your life it is about your journey so i ask for you to sit with yourself for a moment before you commit with the journey you know how much you want to do that and if you feel with clarity that yes you are feeling the calling and you know why you are saying yes then please will be more than i will be more than happy will be more than an honor to have each one of you and share the medicine and share the blessings and share the love you know in the circle because i can tell you it is a very very blessed night there is no more sacred night when we dedicate a moment to heal ourselves to me that's the most beautiful and the most sacred uh, gift that we can give to ourselves a time to heal ourselves and this is very much the universe grandmother god very much recognize that from us when we step into our journey you know looking for something to help ourselves i guarantee that the universe you know very much will um guide you support you love you and this is the beauty you know this is the beauty of the journey okay so i wish all the love and blessings from the mother she has so much love from for us She's the most powerful plant in the Amazon. I feel that she's the most powerful natural medicine that we can have connection with. Not just ayahuasca, but there is beautiful uh, natural medicine, you know, as I said in my other video, video, I very much mix blue lotus flower, you know, I very much prepare the medicine, not just with ayahuasca, but other types of medicine, the blend, you know, that's very much something that she told me, and each one they have their own own way to prepare the medicine the moment that i'm preparing the medicine i put my intentions after the preparation healing session you know after i feel each one the energy the healing i put that intention into the medicine in the moment that i'm preparing that's why it is important for myself to have the preparation healing session with each one. Because when I'm preparing the medicine, I will put your intention, the energy that I felt, the healing. And when you go through the journey, the medicine, you know, already knows everything that needs to be done and heal it and release and cleanse in each one okay so please let's be connected
Let's respect each other. Let's see each other, you know, as so brothers and sisters. Let's remove our ego and very much be open, you know, to help each other, to celebrate life. Because that's what we want. We want to remove the separation. We want to remove the suffering so we are able to love freely and enjoy and be happy, you know, very much be in our essence and discover, you know, our inner power and blessings that we are. Okay? So please, those that very much um, send me the confirmation, I ask you very much to uh, be committed with yourself first and let's book our preparation session and be open for the change for the beautiful manifestations that grandmother has for us all right love and blessings see you soon namaste bye bye thank you